So I think that you've sort of um, hit on one thing that we do think is very important, which is actually uh, backing businesses where we think there are very good growth opportunities. Um, either because uh, we think that the end markets are particularly attractive, or actually in some cases it may well be that these are businesses operating in a very fragmented uh, industry, and so the ability to bring together two or three different businesses uh, to really sort of strengthen an operation um, is also something that uh, acts as a real sort of catalyst. Um, the things that we believe are very important uh, in these businesses, other than just uh, the growth opportunities, very strong management, that's, that's a, key, uh, a key element. As, as private equity investors, we are backing the management teams um, very significantly, and that's a very important part of uh, the analysis and the due diligence that we do. Um, we're interested in, in industries where there are sort of good growth opportunities. That means that we'll probably avoid things that are very cyclical um, or where there are parts of the business which is quite difficult for a management team to, uh, to, to get a sort of strong handle on and control. So um, absolutely around that sort of growth focus, backing strong management teams, but also businesses where those management teams will be able to have a very sort of clear view about the destiny that they set for that business and so that we uh, as investors can, t uh, can participate in, in uh, the growth and the improvement and profitability. One of the reasons why we think that private equity is, uh, is, is a great addition to our own investment portfolios is because of the diversification uh, that that brings and it's allowing you access to different parts of the economy and different markets. Um, and, and that we think in any investment portfolio, uh, diversification is an important uh, element within that. There is obviously a very important uh, element to think about, which is that this is an, you know, an illiquid investment. And so it means um, tying up some money for a period of between three to five years. In terms of the uh, investments sort of coming back and how they're, they're realized, it can be uh, a mixture of capital return and capital gains and that will depend uh, from investment to investment and uh, a how those businesses uh, travel um, uh, as uh, you know in terms of our time of ownership but also the exit strategy that uh, uh, that we've had so if we look at um, our first fund we are very much in what I'd sort of call harvest mode so all the investments have been made um, and we're now seeing those sort of returns coming back to uh, the investors in those funds. Um, and it's been a mixture of capital return um, and also capital gains as those businesses um, have been sold. In, in our second fund, um, we're pretty much to the end of the investment part of it, but already we've had um, uh, one business that has been uh, sold uh, to appear. Um, we've had another business which has um, IPO'd on the US stock market. So although uh, we would sort of see that sort of second fund uh, being sort of probably in the sort of middle of its time period, you've already seen some very attractive results come through.